uh, the whole Venezuelan situation and, and the global and, and the global you know uh, consequences of that. You know, because it started. You know, it really starts. Um, you know, with Saudi Arabia. The whole thing with Saudi Arabia, the oil price of Venezuela, whatever, whatever. But the whole thing is that Saudi Arabia is now uh, going more towards supplying, um, uh, like Russia and a lot of other places. Um, you know, outside of the U.S. sphere, uh, with 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 oil, and so the U.S. is going to be losing that. Or somehow it's going to do it. They have to, uh, uh, I guess. Uh, depend more on the fracking that the U.S. does and all the rest of that stuff. Okay, no worries. Uh, but if that happens, they have to get oil from someplace because the, the whole fracking thing, you know, that's just pff, not good. It's money losing thing and everything like that. Okay, no worry about that part. So they figured, hey, let's take over Venezuela. That way we can, you know, we can get, because they have the largest oil reserve in the world, right? Let's take over Venezuela, then we'll get the oil from them and forget the Saudis. Right? That, that was the grand, that, to me that's the grand plan, but I could be wrong. But now the things in Venezuela is sort of turning around, people are getting hit. Uh, plus, you know, they, people understand that every president has always, always, okay, I'm not yes, always, if they want it, if they're doing if something's not happening, getting close to election, whatever, they always start a war someplace, or at least some sort of conflict. Remember Bill Clinton when the hell told Monica Lewinsky did? What, what did he do? Before the Kosovo, whatever, he started a war there up there in the upper Europe. <laughs> you know, um, Barack Obama didn't do anything. Did well, well, Barack Obama just increased the military, the military all over the world, including especially Africa. Okay? Um, so, anyway, so I was going to talk about that, but then. You know, because I check the internet all the time. One of the people I check is Dr. Mumbi out of uh, out of Kenya. Uh, excellent, uh, excellent man. Check her out. I'll probably put a link to, uh, that talks about this also. A lot of points she covers, I, I understand, I know, and, 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 and I agree with it. Uh, but then she's had this thing about, hey, Barack Obama's coming to hang out in Africa. Well, why is Barack Obama coming to hang out in Africa? She didn't say that way. I'll say that. Oh, because he's, he's going to be a part of this new NBA-sponsored a uh, basketball league. That's a basketball league in Africa? What are you talking about? Here's the thing. The, the NBA and some other, or FI, something, the, the International Basketball, whatever place, they're going to start a league, a basketball league with like NBA rules um, in Africa. Well, and she also indicated that, you know, you know, Ice Cube's got this little basketball league where they go the, the, the three, you know, um, you know, three on three kind of thing. I think he had expressed an uh, uh, interest to in coming too. However, it's the NBA I'm interested. So I, I started to look stuff up. Well, let me just look, uh, see what they they say here. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Here's what's in interesting to me. Most interesting to me. Oh, get about with it. Not this thing in my way. Okay. The NBA and FIBA, that's an international organization, uh, plan to conduct qualification tournaments later this year to identify, this year mean 2019, to identify 12 teams that would represent several African countries, including Angola. Angola has oil off of its coast, right? Egypt, well, you know, Egypt's strategic and all the rest of that stuff, right? Kenya, Kenya, they have oil off of their coast. <laughs> Morocco, you know, Morocco, Nigeria, oil, Rwanda, look, Rwanda, remember, Rwanda is, is how they get the coal tan from the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, out of Democratic Republic, through Rwanda and to the, you know, the international people that ripping, that ripping the Congo off and not paying them for the coal tan. Uh, who else we got here? Senegal, Senegal, I think they just discovered, or well, Senegal is Senegal, uh, they got a lot of stuff. South Africa, or oh, South Africa. Not only strategic as far as the U.S. is concerned or whatever have you, um, you know, whatever. You know, they, South Africa, we got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Tunisia, Tunisia up in uh, Northern Africa, uh, I suppose they got stuff too. And uh, so anyway, they're going to start with those teams. There may be other things. But interestingly enough, hey, I'm not going to mention the countries that are not here, but these are all strategic to U.S. in terms of oil, uh, minerals, blah, 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 blah. So I have fear for that. So here's the thing. Obviously, it's going to happen. You're not going to stop. Look, when the, when, when the predatory capitalists, when these people get going, if they have a plan, they've been working on this plan for a long time. You think when, they say they, when they announce they're going to launch a plan, you know, it's like the military. They launch a plan. You're too late already. When they announce that they're going to do it, 
is gone. It's the done deal. So what can we do? Let's subvert this thing. Because obviously if the NBA and all these billionaire owners are involved, because you know, okay, if they're involved, that means it's about the money. It's about the money. So what we got to do is disrupt that. Not disrupt that, but take it over. You, you know how we, like in South Africa, you know, so, um, let me leave South Africa because, you know, everybody talks about that. Let's talk about Rwanda for a sec. Not Rwanda, um, uh, Botswana for a second. My classic story about Botswana is when they got their liberation, you know, the beers company, whoever, um, they say, no, we're going we're gonna to continue our diamond, you know, extracting our diamonds uh, or your diamonds at, uh, at our regular rate. Let's just make up numbers. Like say, we're going to get 70% and we'll give you 30%. And uh, Botswana said, no, get out of here. We just want to, we want a war of liberation. This is with no compromise like South Africa or something like that. Or no, I'm just, no, this is like we won. So guess what? We'll take 70% and give you, and you get 30%. And they said, oh, no, no, they left. Guess what? They came back. And that's why Rwanda, not of Rwanda, keep on saying Rwanda. That's why uh, Botswana had, had free education for so long. You know what I mean? Now, they, I won't get into that. But the point is, we have to make it so if they, if, if they could think they're going to extract, uh, just make it, again, make up the number, 70% or 90% out of this situation, we have to make it sure, no, you're only going to extract, you know, 10% or 30% out of the situation. 70% is coming to the c countries, that, not just the countries, but the people, the low on the ground people. No, not, you're not going to be able to, to, to hire, do some deal with some, some, big official, all these people in them, they don't give them all the money. No, it's coming to the country people, you know? Because the other thing, so that's one thing. The other thing that she, that uh, Dr. Mumby uh, uh, explained, and I keep on telling the same thing. Africa, it's, it's youth. Every, most people is under 30, so this basketball thing, and plus with the whole thing about the U.S. and you know, the super, you know, everybody talks about the superstars in the U.S. Everybody wants to grow to be like that, just like the state. They want to grow. They think they're going to make their, all their money by being the next whatever, LeBron, whoever. You know what I mean? Uh, not understanding that these folks are like, hey, they want to, they want to find the same. Uh, I don't want to put. The same, the same kind of caliber mutants or whatever have you uh, that you have in the state that they grew up in the state. They want to find that in Africa, and you know. The rest is history. But then everybody's going to be looking to do that rather than doing these other things. You know what I mean? The, the, the best sector in, in South Africa is, is for money and everything. It's agriculture, but it's too hard to work. Nobody wants to be a, a farmer. You, you see what I'm saying? So the, uh, the, the problem is that this is going to take the whole youth culture to a whole other thing. And they'll keep on putting stuff down the pipe, distracting the youth, and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to talk about the youth because I'm, you know, but I mean, I just, we're in the sus up right now. And um, there's youth that, that meet in the suffer and they meet it just for brain things. You know, they talk, it's a think tank. They talk about things that impact their life. And they're supposed to think about it, uh, talk about it, you know, think about it, talk about it, and then put it into action, which is what the, what the sus is about. But let me get back to that. So that's the danger. They're grabbing African youth and going to do something else with it. Not what the, you see? And then all those values, all those the, those opulence that, that, that you see, these people living, these, that they show on the TV with this, this lifestyle, that's going to distract further from the liberation of the entire continent and by extension, the diaspora. Anyway, that's a, that's a little um, thought, um, observation. From I changed back up. Just an observation from um, from from the brother, the the, the, the brother elder, A. J. Sloan, the elder, from here. I'm he's sitting at the top. You know what I'm talking about. I'm being an elder now, and I'm giving you. I'm 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 I'm, I'm and that analyzes as an elder, not as uh, somebody that's enamored with uh, you know with with the U. S. coming to <laughs> to the the biggest problem though. That before I ended, the biggest problem is that the face of this league is going to be. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is a snake. He shed his skin after becoming, uh, um, uh, leaving the presidency of the United States. And now he shed his skin and become bigger and bigger and bigger. And now he's a snake in the African grass, in the African grasslands, in the African reality. Watch out for that man. You know what he did? You know what he didn't do for black Americans? You know, uh, uh, and get, when I say black Americans, I'm talking about American descendants of chattel slavery. North American descendants of chattel slavery. Anybody can be black, 
But the problem with Barack Obama, the reason why he didn't do anything for the ADOS community, because he wasn't ADOS. He's a he's a Kenyan American or American, yeah, a Kenyan American, which is not didn't come through the set, you see? So he's going to do that thing, and now he's using his bona fides of being a Kenyan American to then further subjugate and do nothing for the African continent. This is a warning for me, A.J. Sloan, the elder.